Well, in Jason Goes to Hell, the character Creighton Duke, um, we never knew anything about Creighton Duke. There was no backstory on him. All we knew is he was trying to hunt down Jason, and that's it. But yeah, this is Derek Yasha, and today this is my fan-made story, the backstory on Creighton Duke, okay? So, what happened was, Creighton Duke, Duke was in New York, Manhattan, of course. You know, he was walking down the street, and then, um, he heard the scream coming from the sewers, of course. Uh, Jason turning back into a kid. Okay, so he goes down there at first thinking that it's a normal kid. He saves him, whatever. Okay, and what happens is, you know, Jason turns back into his normal form and uh, Creighton Duke just runs out of there, runs for his life. Of course, training and be trying to be a bounty hunter it took a lot of years for him, okay? It took a lot of years, you know. Uh, mainly, mainly fighting, uh, you know, training to how to fight, um, how to do things, you know. Um, I guess he watched Western movies, so that that's why you would see him wearing that kind of clothing. You know, the whole cowboy get-up, Okay. Um, what happened was, uh, Cray Creighton Duke went to Crystal Lake, okay, and Jason was just killing a bunch of people from left to right, still killing teenagers, still killing pot smokers, and still killing, um, sex addicts, of course, having sex in cabins outside, mainly in the lake, shit like that, okay? So, uh, Creighton... Duke, it was it was his uh, first time encountering Jason, okay, and mainly one of the survivors, um, you know, was running away from Jason, and Creighton Duke says, "Well, I, I we can't get rid of this ugly sucker, but uh, we'll just uh, have to uh, just like almost kill him for now." Okay, we'll almost kill him for now. Okay, so then eventually he does uh, kill Jason, and then you know he leaves after that, and then he hears about another incident that happened, and Crystal Lake goes back to Crystal Lake. Of course, you know, uh, dynamite Jason can't can't die for shit. Okay, he keeps on leaving and coming coming back to Camp Crystal Lake. Okay. Um. The man is just sick and tired of it. He's like, you know what? Fuck it. I gotta go try to find out how I can really kill Jason. Okay? So he's trying to find out. He's reading books, you know, things like that. And uh, what happens is... Um, he, sh he just keeps on doing what he has to do. Okay? Just so that he can try to get rid of Jason. Alright? And, um, I think we know what happened, okay? Uh, Jason might have killed his family, okay? And maybe that's why he wants Jason dead for a reason, okay? Uh, maybe that guy in either Friday the 13th Part 5 or 6, you know, the one that was dressing up like Michael Jackson, was probably his nephew or his cousin or something like that. Let's just say that, his cousin. Okay? Uh, let's say that, uh, you know, Jason killed his wife. Okay? Unnouncedly. His wife was a worker at um, real estate for Camp Crystal Lake, of course, trying to sell houses near Crystal Lake, but for some odd reason, Jason got out of Crystal Lake and mainly killed his wife, okay, while, while uh, she was, uh, you know, fucking somebody in a house, okay, well, while she was fucking somebody in a house, all right, 
So yeah, um, mainly um, you understand why Creighton Duke wants to basically get rid of Jason now, right? Right, so mainly Creighton Duke is still studying, still studying, still trying to figure out how the fuck could I kill Jason? How the fuck could I kill him? We tried many things, okay? We tried. You know, many of the survivors tried many things. Jason can never die. Jason can never fucking die. Even if you if you make him choke on a fucking hot dog, he'll never fucking die. So what happens is, uh, I guess you could say this mysterious figure comes and tells Creighton Duke about the dagger, of course, the dagger that that you need to stab in Jason and kill him with, okay. And the dagger gets explained uh, in that part. Uh, mainly the dagger, what it does is it summons these demons from hell and, of course, take Jason under hell. Okay. So, you know, it's kind of like, uh, you know, the omen when, you know, those, like, different um, knives or instruments or Damien. Kind of like that. Okay. No, I know, but, um, Creighton Duke, of course, has to go find the dagger, and, of course, the dagger is hard to find. Welp, well, I'm guessing where the dagger is, is at the Evil Dead cabin, of course. And Creighton Duke goes there, of course. Um, he finds the Book of the De Dead there, he takes that, okay? He takes the Book of the Dead, and also he finds the dagger uh, under the basement. Okay, he finds the the dagger under under the you know the cabin, the basement where of course uh, Cheryl or Shelley uh, was locked down in from the first Evil Dead movie. So yeah, um, he finally finds the dagger, and uh, mainly what happens is he can't find Jason now, because Jason went somewhere else for a while. Okay, Jason went somewhere else for a while, so... Um, I guess he holds on to the dagger or something like that. And I guess he hides the dagger somewhere. God only knows where he hides it, but somewhere around in, you know, uh, the crystal area, of course. Alright. Um, let me see what else happens. Well, I guess I'm just going to end it off here because, um, you know, there's not much more to the Cray Creighton Duke character. Okay, I guess I explained everything. Alright, I guess I did kind of explain everything, but yeah. I guess that's the fan-made story on Creighton uh, Duke. Um, I don't think nobody ever made a fanfic story for Creighton Duke. If somebody did, please tell me down in the comments. You know. And make a video response to this. Please do. Tell me what your thoughts was on it. Alright, guys. Um, I'm out. Peace.